Hi guys! Okay, so I haven't made a video in a while, and today I'm here to talk about something that is very dear to my heart. Her. Um, adoption. My grandparents adopted me and my little brother, so I'm my grandma's granddaughter, and he's my grandpa's grandson, okay, but my grandpa has no blood relation to me, and my grandma has no blood relation to my little brother. It's it's a little complicated. Either way, we were adopted by our grandparents. My younger brother by my mom was adopted by a very nice couple. Well, they were a couple when they adopted him, but that's that's a different story entirely. Just another adoption story. I have other friends who were adopted, and we all came out pretty normal. I'm not exactly sure how my baby brother on, from my mom is doing at this time, but I haven't had the most contact with him in the last two years since I've been stationed in Germany, and every time I've tried calling, nobody's answered the phone. But, back to the point. Adoption! Every time I talk to somebody about adoption, I tend to get the same kind of vibe from people, you know? Oh, adoption's a great thing! Yeah! More people should adopt! Kids need to be adopted! Adoption is good! Everybody seems to be on the general consensus that adoption is a good thing. So why is it that when you actually talk to somebody about legitimately adopting a child, everybody's like, oh, well, I don't think that I could adopt. I mean, adoption's great, and more people should adopt, and, you know, all of that, but I just want my own kids. Bitch, please. You just said that adoption's a good thing, more people need to adopt, and that there are plenty of children out there who really need adopting, and need good homes, etc., etc., and now you're going to fucking tell me that you want to make your own little spawn. Why? What is so great about making your own babies that, you know, isn't adoption? And here's, here's what I hear when I ask this question from people. I actually dated a guy, and we were talking about kids and adoption, and I said that I would rather adopt than make my own babies. And this guy was like, well, not me. I, you know, it's not the same. I, I want my own flesh and blood. Adoption isn't the same thing. It's not having your own flesh and blood. Blah, 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 blah. As if people think that if they were to adopt a child, they would not be capable of loving that child as fully as if it were their own flesh and blood, so to speak. What? Okay, you're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Adoption is not the same thing as having your own flesh and blood. Adoption is a hell of a lot more meaningful than that. Okay? Adoption... <laughs> adopting a child is giving a needful human being a home. A child who needs your help a home. Security. Nourishment. Food. That's what you're giving a child when you adopt them. As well as your love. You are promising them your unconditional love. And even if you don't promise them that, at least you are giving them a roof over their head, food to eat, a safe place to live, clothing for them to wear. You're providing a safe place for them to grow up, go out, be successful in their lives. More so than if they were to continue going through the foster system, eventually get out of the foster system, and probably do what many foster kids do and fuck up their lives completely. Adopting a child is letting a child in this world know that there are people who actually do give a shit and who will help you when you need it. As long as you know where to look, you'll be helped. So, you want a child, and you want to make it yourself. Why? Why do you care so much about your bloodline? Are you racist? Prejudiced of some kind? Are you some kind of bigot? Why do you care that you have your own offspring? Okay, so you're close to your family. So you love your mom and your... Y y so what? The guy your mom's married to isn't even your biological father. Okay, that guy adopted you. When he married your mom, he adopted you as his son. You see him as your dad. Why would it be so different if you were to adopt a child? You would see that child as your child, and that child would see you as that child's dad or mom. You would be that child's parent. Or those children, if you adopt more than one. That's great. You want more than one kid? Adopt them! There are plenty of unwanted babies in this world being born every single day, and if you don't want an older child, if the biggest reason that you want to make your own babies is so that... 
you can say, or you can raise it from birth. Fucking look in the adoption ads in the paper, okay? There are people out there who are giving birth to babies that are immediately going up for adoption. They are immediately on the market. The instant they pop out screaming from their mother's womb and the umbilical cord is cut, they are ready to be adopted. Why don't you go out and adopt one of those? No, it's not the same thing. It's not my flesh and blood. I'm not the one pushing it out. I'm not the one there with my wife while she pushes it out. So fucking what? You're still getting a newborn. You really want to see the absolutely disgusting, agonizing, painful grotesque spectacle that is the woman giving birth to a child. I really don't think you actually want to see that in your life, and if you do, you are a sick, twisted individual who wants to see some sick, twisted shit, and I want nothing to do with you. At all. Because that shit is disgusting. Furthermore, why do you care so much about your own bloodline anyway? <laughs> we on this planet are nothing more than a giant mixing pot of ethnic heritages, bloodlines, genetics, all of that, all of our DNA. All of our DNA is pretty much just mixed up in this world anyway. Look at Egypt. Egypt has been around since, like, the dawn of mankind. Egypt has always been there. And what is Egypt? Look at ancient Egypt. They have probably the single most ethnically diverse population on the planet. And they have, throughout history, had European rulers, Middle Eastern rulers, African rulers, probably Asian rulers. I'm pretty sure Genghis Khan found Egypt. Look at that. And in America, what the hell are we if we're not a giant mixing pot of people coming together from everywhere? Mexicans, blacks, Chinese, Europeans, probably Canadians coming down every so often as well. Seriously. We're nothing but a big mixing pot of genetics. So why do you care so much about your bloodline? Honestly. We are not living in the agricultural revolution wherein you need to have a million children to help you r tend to a farm and make sure that you can keep that land for your family by having your own children and not having anybody else's come into your land. We are not living in the agricultural revolution, people. Quite frankly, adoption says more decent things about a person, couple, or family than does fertilizing eggs and pushing the babies out. Oh, and an added perk to adoption over giving birth to something? There's no nine-month period of pain, illness, mood swings, hot flashes, pregnancy brain, and anything else that comes with pregnancy and turning a woman into a fucking portable incubator in order to push a human being out through a vagina into a world that is already overpopulated and is getting worse by the day. Stop. Think about it. Think about the fact that, realistically, adoption is a better way to go.